searched, the man considered to be the prime suspect in one of Central Florida's most high-profile missing persons cases is back in court today. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman joins us live from the Seminole County Courthouse right now. Mark, what's happening there today? Well, Justin, everything centers around several errors Hadaway's attorneys say were made during a trial that earned him a life sentence in prison. And because of that, they say their client now deserves a new trial. Now, James Hadaway was in court this morning as his attorneys brought four issues before Judge Hadaway, who was the prime suspect in the disappearance of Tracy Ocasio, was convicted in 2011 in the attack of another woman, Rachel Clark, in 2008. His attorneys in that case were questioned today about why special jury instruction wasn't given about a robbery charge and why the victim's blood alcohol level wasn't it entered in as evidence, even though she admitted to drinking and smoking marijuana that night. Hadaway also took the stand this morning where he said his lawyer waived a right to speedy trial against his wishes. I told him I wanted to run it, I wanted to go to trial, and I'm, I'm ready to go. Why did you want to go to trial? I felt like the state was throwing charges at me that, didn't, that weren't credible, and I wanted to go ahead and take it to trial. A fourth issue being discussed involves failing to suppress testimony of a jailhouse informant. Thomas Malloy told jurors Hadaway confessed to him while the two were at the Seminole County Jail. But Hadaway contends that Malloy was being used by police to extract a confession. And if that's true, Hadaway should have been read his Miranda rights. Now, that testimony is still going on right now. We just stepped out of the courtroom. And there's a lot for the judge to go over in, the, in this case. But I do want to note that it's highly unlikely that a decision will be made to Today. And we're going to step back in that courtroom right now. We'll keep you updated with what happens in this hearing throughout the day here on News 6. Justin. All right, Mark, thanks so much.